Hello, welcome to my channel. I am Captain Banks, and today I have a possible solution if you are having random Windows 10 crashes due to a processor core internal parity error. Uh, to determine if this error is occurring on your machine, you want to go down to the search bar and type in Event Viewer. I've been there before, so mine will auto-populate. So type in Event Viewer and click on the application. It is going to bring up a window that looks like this. From here, you wanna go in the top left, you wanna double-click on Windows Logs. You then, on the sub-menu, wanna click on System. This is gonna pull up all the events. So there are 3,845 current events on my machine. What you're looking for are two red exclamation marks similar to this that are in close proximity. So we will keep scrolling until we find those two. And there we go. They're generally separated by a few information events. And the closer to the top you go, the more recent they are. So if we look at this top error message, that tells us that the computer was rebooted from a bug check. So that's a good sign. It's not a good sign, but it is for our purposes. The one below that is where you'll get the actual error that caused the crash. And this tells us that a fatal hardware error has occurred. Processor core, machine check exemption, internal parity error, and it lists a processor ID. This processor ID is, will change depending on how many processors your, your, your cores your processor has. It does not mean you have a hardware problem. This is a Windows 10 problem. And I will show you how to fix this so you do not have the random crashes anymore. If you've determined that this fix is, is for you, go ahead and close the event viewer. You're no longer gonna need it. You now wanna open up Notepad. So go back down to your search bar and type in Notepad. Again, I've been there before, so mine auto-populates. Open up the notepad. So you have a blank note, notepad here. What you wanna do is you wanna, in the body of this video, I will list the commands that you need to copy and paste into this notepad. So you right-click, paste, and there is the text from the body of this video. At this point, click File and Save. You can save this anywhere you want, um, somewhere where it's not gonna be deleted. So from, and you can title it whatever you want. So I'm gonna just simply title mine Fix and hit Save. So now you can close the notepad. We're no longer gonna need that. The next task is to open up your File Explorer. Go to where you saved the file. I saved mine in documents. Now you have the option of leaving this file here or placing it somewhere more secure so it does not get erased. I placed, I placed mine in the Windows directory. But for this video, we'll leave it right here. At this point, you want to go up to the very top. You'll have File, Home, Share, and View. You wanna click on View. You wanna tick the box that says file name extensions. You'll notice that the fix file now says fix.txt. You wanna right click, highlight it, right click, hit rename. You wanna delete the txt and in place put bravo alpha tango, B-A-T, and hit enter. Your computer's gonna say, if you change the file name extension, this might become unstable. Are you sure you wanna change it? Click yes. All right, now what you wanna do is you wanna hold down the Windows key and select R. This is gonna bring up your run menu. You wanna open shell colon startup. and hit OK. This is gonna bring up a menu. I've already got my fix file in there, but yours may be blank. 
What you want to do is you want to take the file that we just renamed fix.bat. You either want to copy and paste it or drag and drop into your startup folder. Since mine is already there, it's going to ask me if I want to replace it. I'm going to go ahead and replace it. At this point, you can close your startup menu. And if you have multiple users using your computer, you may want to uncheck the file name extensions box to avoid any future confusion. And now you simply restart your machine. You should no longer have the reboots from the internal parity error, parity error caused by uh, the Windows program stating that your processor core has done something crazy. I hope this helped you. If it did, please give it a like and subscribe. Uh, when I come across some things like this, I will make videos and try to help anybody that I can. Other than that, please take care of yourselves and each other, and we'll see you in the next video.